BEng, BTech, BSc in Engineering. Which one is really the best and what do they all mean? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've subscribed, thank you so much. If you haven't, what are you waiting for? Do join the tribe if you are passionate and interested around building a, an army of engineers, growing through our career development and our journeys, and also building up strong leaders for Africa and the rest of the world as well. I've gotten a lot of direct messages and comments from some of you guys in previous videos on some of the content that you'd like to see more of. One of the ones that was a request was to describe the difference between a B Tech, a BSc in Engineering, and a B Inch. So different universities and colleges and technicons do have different offerings, um, especially depending on their syllabus and their accreditation. But there is a general consensus around the syllabi of engineering. Some of them are accredited globally according to the Washington Accord. But I will take you through some of what the different bachelors are in engineering and which ones you may want to pursue. So let's start with the BTEC. So BTEC is a bachelor's in technology. So BTEC, you tend to go to a college to get a diploma. Only if you're wanting to pursue your studies further, then you go and get your degree, which is four years. Getting the diploma is about three years, and in general, getting the degree is four to five years. What the BTEC offers, though, is that it's very practical orientated. So there is a lot less theory and a lot less sciences. They actually even encourage you to do practicals within workplaces and work environments. This is more on the hand and technical practical skills. The BSc in engineering is more of a sciences qualification. So very heavy when it comes to sciences and theory bound. So they it will go into a lot more depth. There's long lists of textbooks going into the sciences of engineering. Looking to expand your career in academia and your masters and your PhD. Both qualifications are seen equally. So depending on what field you're going into, it's just an individual with a B tech qualification would would have been exposed to a lot more practical and hands-on technical experience and an individual with BSc will understand the background and the theory of that particular field in a lot more depth. BEng is really a bachelor in engineering so it does focus on the sciences of engineering and engineering sciences so you'll still have your courses in mathematics and physics and whatnot but you will focus a lot more on engineering sciences as well. Depending on which institute that you apply for you may find that they only offer a bachelor in engineering and not a bachelor in science whereas one institute may offer a bachelor in science in engineering as opposed to a bachelor in engineering. The difference between the three is really on the syllabus and where each of the focus points are. The degree doesn't define who you are and how far you'll get in your career. It just exposes you to principles in science and in engineering and physics. Um, but what ultimately counts is what you expose yourself to after you've left your university or your technicon or your college. Because at the end of the day, the paper may open a couple of doors, but it also depends on how you're driving your own career and in what direction you're driving your career that'll determine whether you succeed or not. General rule of thumb and principle, if you're looking to spend your time in workshops, maybe as a maintenance engineer, if you want to get hands on, you want to get dirty, you're not a behind the desk type of person, then do consider B Tech, even a B inch. If you're the type of individual who more pro to academia, into research, into basic principles, into design, into the sciences of things, then do consider pursuing a BSc in engineering. The inch is more focused on your engineering sciences, so there'll be a lot more focus on engineering principles. Ultimately, you cannot go wrong with an engineering qualification. We're needing many more problem solvers, especially with all the issues that we've got in our, in our different countries. Um, we're living in a continent where there is ample room for development, ample room for innovation, ample room for us to be bold, go out there and solve the problems that we're facing day to day. We're just needing a lot more can-do attitudes, go out there and change our society. Comment below on which of the degrees you've got, be tech, be eng, or BSc in engineering, and what are the benefits that you're seeing with each? Remember to live your best life, learn as you grow, and lead for change. Ciao.